The meeting of the Revere Board of Appeals will now come to order. Roll call. Mr. Pacilli? Present. Mr. Corrin is absent. Mr. D'Angelo? Present. Mr. Mazzoni? Present. Mr. Colometto is absent. Mr. Tucker? Present. Present. Mr. Ch Mr. Chairman, in accordance with the provisions of the Massachusetts Open Meeting Law, the Board of Appeals has the authority to adopt remote participation by its members who are unable to be physically in the city council chamber for the purpose of the meeting. So if the uh, board adopts remote participation as a, uh, as a regulation of the board, uh, Mr. Uh, Corrin will be enabled to participate remotely. Is there a motion on the floor to adopt? All in favor. All in favor? Roll call. Roll call. Mr. Pacilli? Yes. yes. Mr. D'Angelo? Yes. yes. Mr. Mazzoni? Yes. Yes. And Mr. Tucker? Yes. Yes. Remote participation is adopted. You can proceed to uh, communicate with Mr. Corrin. Hello. Okay, Harvey. Yeah. You are now on in the meeting, so we will now start uh -huh. the... We will start with the first calendar item number. This is calendar yes, item. Okay. Okay, we'll, we'll do the talking and then you can just vote, Harvey. So give him a second for John to announce. Harvey, John is going to um, call the calendar and then you just wait till you vote. Okay, go ahead. This is application A1618. This matter has been continued for the meeting of 102616. The application of Picto Ageldo and Giovanni. Tagliari, 100 Stock Avenue, Revere, Mass, requesting maximum number of stories variance to enable the appellant to construct a third story addition to an existing single family dwelling on lot 13 at 100 Stock Avenue, Revere. I had a call from the applicant. He requests to continue so he can get um, additional information on a plan as well as speak to the fire department and the building department. Is there a motion to continue? I would vote to continue that. Thank you, Harvey. Que the question before the board is to grant the continuance to the applicant. Mr. Bacilli? Yes. Yes. Mr. Corrin? Yes. Harvey? Yes. Yes. Mr. D'Angelo? Yes. Yes. Mr. Mazzoni? Yes. Yes. Mr. Tucker? Yes. Yes. And Mr. Colometto is absent. This matter is continued to the next meeting of the board. Next calendar item number. Excuse me? We're going to the next calendar item number. Okay. Application of all. The next matter before the board is application A1620. This is the application of Overlook Ridge LLC, 23 Overlook Ridge Drive, Malden, appealing the decision of the building specter dated October 13, 2016, to deny the application uh, of a building permit to construct a single family dwelling on parcel 1F Liberty Avenue, Revere. Is the applicant in the audience or a representative? If you could press the button just so that the light comes on. State your name and address for the record, please. Good afternoon, my name is Richard Gologli. I'm an attorney with the Boston law firm Rockman, Sawyer and Brewster, located at 160 Federal Street in Boston, Mass. The uh, materials that were submitted, the application that was submitted to appeal, the building inspector's decision contained our arguments. I'll repeat them quickly here. Uh, this is an appeal from the decision of the inspector of buildings to deny a building permit for construction of a single family residence on Liberty Avenue at parcel 1F. 
This is also an appeal from the decision of the Site Plan Review Committee approving the project subject to certain conditions that must be completed prior to issuance of a building permit. <clears throat> it is the owner's position that the conditions imposed by the Site Plan Review Committee exceed the authority of the committee and are unreasonable. Under the Revere Zoning Ordinance, Site Plan Review is non-discretionary. Site Plan Review is intended to regulate but not prohibit as of right uses. Conditions Im imposed as part of Site Plan Review must relate to impacts caused by the proposed project. In this instance, the Site Plan Review Committee, acting by and through the city engineer, seeks to require the owner to pay for off-site infrastructure improvements that have long been ignored by the city. Such conditions are unreasonable and unlawful. We respectfully request that the Zoning Board of Appeals set aside the decision of the Site Plan Review Committee and order the building inspector to issue a building permit for parcel 1F. Available answer any questions you might okay, have. Okay, where it's a public hearing, I will ask if there's any other proponents. Hearing none, I'll close that side of the hearing. Any opponents? Hearing none, I'll close that side of the hearing. Any members wish to speak? Okay, thank you. Do you, do you take a vote later today? or? Yes, we take a vote at the end. The next matter before the board is application A1621. This is the application of Charles Lightbody, 55 North Marshall Street, Revere, requesting the following variances. Proposed lot A, minimum lot area, minimum lot frontage, minimum side yard, minimum rear yard for accessory garage occupying more than 10% of the rear yard. Proposed lot B, minimum lot area and minimum lot frontage, the proposed variances will enable the appellant to petition the City Revere Planning Board for a subdivision of Lot Part 1 Mountain Avenue Revere to create new lots A and B and further to enable the appellant to construct a two-family dwelling on proposed lot B. Is the applicant? Good afternoon. Please state your name and address for the record. Mr. Chairman, members of the board, Joseph Cotogio, 1 Sprague Street, Revere, representing the applicant, Charles Lightbody, uh, who's seeking the uh, variances that were detailed by the clerk. Um, I can uh, update uh, this uh, um, application. Uh, one of the variances that uh, is requested pertains to a garage, freestanding garage, that was located pre-existing in the rear of the lot um, of the existing house. Uh, the garage has since been removed since the, um, the uh, new owner has uh, taken title. Um, we will, uh, I'm sure it will be a condition of approval, update the uh, mylar and the plan that has just been submitted to show that that uh, garage has been removed. It shows on the plan, but it is not uh, no longer on the site. So the freestanding garage is removed. We do not need the variance that would allow that to stay. Um, the second, uh, uh, a second variance required um, pertains to the existing house is the side yard setback, uh, which is a, a requirement of uh, 10 feet on uh, new subdivision. The existing house is 9.2 feet to the line. Um, we're hoping that the board can see that as a minimal uh, variance uh, and grant, uh, grant the approval for that. Um, and the remaining variances are two on each uh, for minimum lot size and frontage. Um, the uh, new requirements are uh, 8,000 square feet um, with, uh, I believe it's uh, 80, foot, 80 feet of uh, frontage. Uh, these lots uh, exceed uh, 6,000 square feet. Lot A, uh, which has the existing house, is 6,825 square feet. Lot B, which is the proposed subdivision lot uh, that would house the proposed uh, structure, contains 6,377 square feet. While it is obviously under the, re the new requirements, it is consistent uh, with the, uh, uh, the neighborhood. Uh, up and down uh, Mountain Ave, uh, houses are um, uh, on average uh, in, in lots uh, that are of this size with this frontage. Both uh, lots uh, exceed or meet uh, 50 feet of, uh, of frontage. Um, the applicant was able to uh, place the house in, uh, and propose the house in such a way that all other Interior setbacks, including height restriction, would be met. Um, side yard, rear yard, parking. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, and we've uh, we've put it so that uh, it is uh, off the street enough 
to have a, a sufficient front yard, but also leaves a, a, an area in the back uh, that uh, would uh, not in, impact the neighbors on uh, Proctor Ave. Uh, I can represent that I did uh, speak today uh, to uh, Mr. Cano, uh, who has who was the owner of 110 Proctor Ave, um, directly in back of the proposed house. Uh, we spoke of uh, some fence repairs to the back that he was interested in, but other than that, he said uh, he was uh, uh, favor, you know, in favor of the uh, the application. Uh, we are here to answer any questions, and uh, we would uh, request the board look favorably on the application. Thank you. Thank you. Seeing that it's a public hearing, are there any proponents? Anyone in favor? My name is John L. Barry. I live at 34 Woodland Road, Revere. I'd like to be recorded as in favor of the project. Okay, thank you. Are there any other proponents? Yes, my name is Beverly McCarthy. Your address? 109 Proctor Avenue. And I'd like to know that I'm in favor of the project. Thank you. Are there any other proponents? Seeing and hearing none, I'll close that side of the hearing. Are there any opponents? Anyone opposed? Please step up to the microphone. State your name and address for the record. Uh, Ronald Powers, 153 Mountain Avenue in Revere. I've lived at this uh, two-family house for 53 years. And... Uh, I watched the council meetings and things, and I saw that they approved to have uh, house lots have to be uh, 8,000 square feet. Neither one of these proposals splitting this, this lot up to A and B are, uh, you know, conform with that. And as far as the frontage on the road, you're on the street, you're supposed to have uh, 80 feet. But one has 50, the other has 55 and they want to put a two-family house in there, uh, 26 feet by 48, uh, right next to me. And uh, I don't think that Mountain Ave, they only allow parking on one side of the street anyway. You know, and the neighbors, uh, I don't know why more of them on here, they've been complaining. Uh, you know, they're, they're going to have to cut more parking spaces to put in this uh, house. They're going to have a... Uh, two cars on one side, two, they're going to have to cut the sidewalk and do away with some uh, parking spaces out there. So uh, I'm definitely against it. And as far as the garage, it's supposedly a utility garage, accessory garage. What is that, accessory garage? I'm the garage is no longer on the plan, so that's not part of the hearing tonight. Oh. Okay, that's about it. Okay, thank you very much. Are there any other opponents? Just Steve Powers, 153 Mountain Ave. Um, I just want to add a little bit to that. He said my father was uh, pretty much it, but I'm, I'm glad to see about the, the garage going, but the parking with the new lot B, it's like there's be apparently two curb cuttings, I guess. That's funny, no one has, I don't know if, Anybody can answer. And apparently, there'll be two curb cuttings, so I'm assuming there's two less parking spots to have in the street. They are numbered one, two, three, four. I'm assuming that's what those are. And um, with the lot B on lot A, it doesn't say. I presume that's a three family or a four family going to be. I don't see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't know where those uh, where those people are going to park now. I don't know if, if they're going to make another double Y. That would be three. And lose three spots now in the street. I mean, there's no parking as it is. I don't know where. I and mean, right now, the way it was is everyone just uh, pulled. There's a huge, um, there's a huge hot tub. It's almost like a parking lot there right now, and everyone pulls in there. And uh, but that's not going to be the case now because now the the lot's cut in half. So I don't know where all the parking's going to go. And that was the the biggest thing I had. I mean, uh, you know. Well, I'm glad to see the garage is gone, but we're just still down to four more. Uh, um, what are your variances? Uh, from okay, the, uh, so once we have the other opponents speak, we'll have the client answer your question. All right, okay. Thank you. My name is Robert Serino, lifelong resident of Revere. 
I live at 171 Mountain Avenue. My grandfather built that house 94 years ago. I've lived there the, most of my whole life. I've owned it for the last 50 years. The last time there was a home put in that lot across the street, we didn't come up and complain. We stayed home. And they put a house there that doesn't have any windows on the outside on a small lot. We never complained because the person that was building it was a lifelong resident. Three years later, he sold the house. They put three cars on there. I submit a picture to John, showing what's there. This is what we look at there on Mount Avenue, all right? That's the house put in on across the street. So this time, they want to put a two-family house. Okay, but this house has nothing to do with no, the no, hearing tonight. No, no, I'm just giving you a background. Oh, okay. Of why I farm here, okay. a lifelong resident of the city. That's the reason why. We didn't do anything, and now we got an eyesore. And we're going to have an eyesore if we don't do something now. All right? Okay. The lot is too small. The garage was taken down, as I understand, without a, build, without a building permit to take it down. All right? And I believe you needed a building permit. So the rules were kind of stretching back and forth. I put a pool in 40 years ago. I had okay, a permit. Okay. Um this is not the city council, so I try to run the meeting according to the Zoning Board of Appeal regulations. As far as something being taken down and no permits, that would be the then, city right, we'll have nothing to do with us. I'm, I'm opposed, and the reason I'm opposed is the parking situation is horrendous. The driving up and down on Mountain Avenue in the morning and in the evening is horrendous. You can't get anybody to park your car. Now the guy two doors up the street He's putting another cut, and he's going to put two more parking spaces with more people. I got five spaces in my yard, so I don't have a problem with it. I have a problem with what's just because they're going to put a two-family house where it don't belong. It's too big for that spot, and that's all I got to say. Okay. I'm opposed, and I will talk to the city council when it goes there. Thank you very much. Are there any other opponents? Hearing none, I'll close that side of the hearing. Any members wish to speak? Okay. If you, uh, one moment, Harvey. Harvey, they are going to answer the question regarding the, um, the parking and the curb cut. Okay, but we haven't called a roll call, so just stand by and let them answer the question, please. Okay. Uh, okay. Just briefly, Mr. Chairman, and, and to the, uh, the, the members who spoke, or the neighbors who spoke, um, first and foremost, the reason for the removal of the garage was specifically for uh, the purpose of increased parking for the existing house. Uh, we wanted to make sure that there was sufficient parking off street. I know their complaints were spaces on the street itself. We are taking cars off that street and putting them into the yard and on off-street parking. The house, obviously, as you can see, the, the proposed house has the sufficient four spaces um, that, that are required off-street so that we are taking uh, and proposing to take cars off of the sidewalk parking and on to. Um, as far as uh, uh, travel um, or uh, uh, traffic, obviously, we, we don't believe we'll be impacting um, in any significant manner. Uh, so, again, we would hope that the, uh, the, the board would uh, review the parking situation and look favorably on the application. Thank you. Thank you. Did... Oh, you, you can come back up, but he answered the question for you? No. Like I said, I see on lot B is one, two, three, four, which would that necessitate two cuttings in this. In this. We're going to lose two parking spots in the street. As opposed to right now, am I, I correct in that? We're taking parking, street parking, and putting it on. Well, there's no pot. There's no. It's a, it's open there now, so there isn't anybody. All the, this, this. The requirements whole, that if someone were to build a two-family house, they're required to have four parking spaces on the site. They're complying with that right. as 
per the yeah. the ordinance. Right. The only, the only right. I I understand that, but there was a hundred and five feet frontage. We're dividing it in half. So now we're going to lose two more parking spots in front. But in theory, of someone owned that land, so people that are parking in front of it probably don't weren't part of that property. Am I correct to assume that? Right. Okay, but now someone owns that property and wants to build on it, and if they even if they have the parking to build on that, they have four spaces. So you can't tell someone they can't stop building because they have the, the, quality, the parking spaces that are required. If they were able to build it, we wouldn't be here. They're here because they don't have enough frontage. They're having, not for variance for parking, though. They're not no. here for parking variance no. for the lot. I understand that, but... So we have to take into consideration the other things that you're opposed of, yes, but the parking is not an issue with this lot. It, it is because we're cutting it in half, and now we're trying to put two, two new... We're going to put two additional driveways in there now. But so, that's what they would have to do if they were to have a two-family. For the lot, there's four parking spaces. Yeah, but there isn't enough room to build. That's why we're here, right? They, we're going to cut it in half, the lot. They're going to be a 50-foot lot in a 55-foot lot when there's supposed to be an 80 and an 80. It's okay. 105 feet. Does anybody, is there, am I, you know? I understand I mean, you there. It's, it's a little hard because, you know, people like myself don't do this for a living, and we come here as just regular people, and, mm -hmm. you know, I, I, I he does this, and it's, it's easier for him to say this stuff than me. I may not say it correctly. I'm not saying No, I it. agree. I, but, I totally understand what you're saying. But that, but that, the reality is that what's going to happen now is we're going to have we're going to have two new driveways cut in there with two two more curb cuttings, and there'll be two less parking spots as is. The other thing is, it still didn't say, like I said, with the other lot where they used to park in. So you're, what you're telling me now is that the, the garage has now been taken out of the question. So now those people will be able to park in the back. Is that that's correct? So, okay. So that, there'll be no garage. The garage that was the biggest thing I was saying. There's no way to fit because we weren't sure. No one, no one talked. I'm not sure who approached the people in Proctor Ave. No one ever came to anybody on Mountain Ave. Is that correct? I mean, nobody ever came. I'm not sure why they would have the people behind. They don't have anything. It doesn't affect them. I suppose if someone was going to build something on Proctor Ave, it wouldn't affect me either. But that was my concern, is, is the, the, that we're going to lose. We have two more uh, cuttings there, and we're going to lose them parking spots. And uh, I just, uh, th that, that was the biggest thing that I had that was my, was my complaint, was that. Um, like I said, it's just, I usually have one. Okay. If they built a one family, then it would only be one driveway. It wouldn't be as... Uh, well, they could put two driveways on a one family, one on each uh, side if they wanted to. That, yeah, that have to be approved. I would like to think that, that doesn't that, have to be approved. I would that, like that, to that, that could be done. Uh, uh, it would have to be approved because you're correct, but if someone wanted to... If they... Yes. Okay. I, would just seem, I would think these things would be taken into consideration. My contention is that... Okay, but you already spoke, so are you, are you bringing something new to the table? Or? Well, I'm, I'm just uh, a stickler on the 8,000 square feet. Okay. To build but, a house, you know. And already, don't have but it. that's why we have a Board of Appeals, too, so, so right. we have to know the neighborhood. Yeah, thank and, you. What's conform? What's up in the neighborhood currently? Okay, but we're not going to belabor this. But go ahead. I'll give you. I'll Wait a give minute. You I'll latitude. speak as long as I want to speak. Sir, we can close the hearing right now. You can right close now. the hearing. That's right. But you'll if hear you from me somewhere If you have something and you want to be yes, respectful, please speak. There's an apartment in the back of that house, one and a half rooms, where the old landlady used to live. Okay. I want to know what's going to happen in that apartment. It's illegal. The kid that lived there prior put the door in after, and I want to know if that's going to be a four-family house. Are they going to have another rental in there? Would you care to answer that question? My client's a recent purchaser of the property. He did remove the kitchen in the apartment that was there. Okay. He, had, he did, was not uh, uh, had anything to do with any illegal apartment during the time he's owned it. Okay. Thank you. I want to know what's going to happen to that property after. What is going? Is that going to be part of the first floor apartment? Yes. It's going to be absolutely. I'm still opposed to it. I don't think that two family house should go. 
Okay, thank you. But they answered your question, am I correct? I'm not happy with the answer, yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay, we can have a roll call on calendar item number two. Application A1620, the application of Overlook Ridge LLC, uh, requesting the Zoning Board of Appeals to uh, reverse the decision of the building inspector and grant the relief requested by the appellant. Voting to grant the relief requested by the appellant to reverse the decision of the building inspector. Mr. Bacilli. No. Mr. Corrin. Mr. Corrin, no. No. Mr. D'Angelo. No. No. Mr. Mazzoni. No. No. Mr. Tucker. No. No. And Mr. Colometto is absent. The uh, application is denied. The next matter before the board is application A1621. Uh, various variances to enable the appellant to petition the City Revere Planning Board for a subdivision of lot part one Mountain Avenue Revere to create new lots A and B and further to enable the appellant to construct a two-family dwelling on proposed lot B. With the plan that was just submitted um, of removing the garage. The garage will be removed, yes. so, okay. Any question, comes, question now comes on granting the relief requested by the appellant. Mr. Pacilli? Yes. Yes. Mr. Corrin? Yes. Yes. Mr. D'Angelo? Yes. Yes. Mr. Mazzoni? Yes. Yes. Mr. Tucker? Yes. Yes. Mr. Colometto is ant uh, absent. The variances are granted. So this plant would now go in front of the planning board. Correct. No further business before the board. Okay, we have adjourned. Call of the chair.